Hey guys, and welcome to my mini-series. For the whole month of February, I will be posting one macrame knot, or knot pattern, a day. Today, we are focusing on the double half hitch knot. This is one of my favorite knots because it is so versatile. I've created two rows of double half hitch knots here to use as an example. You will tie several knots along one piece of rope. This piece of rope is called the filler cord, and the pieces of rope in the back are called the working cords. Bring the first working cord in front of your filler cord and tie two loops before moving on to the next working cord. The second loop will secure your knot in place, so make sure you pull the first loop tight. For those that are new to macrame, I would use one long filler cord that travels back and forth on your wall hanging. If you are using several filler cords, make sure that they travel to the right and then back to the left at some point so that your work stays even. Otherwise, your work will lean to the right or left. We will now bring our filler cord back to the left. Working again with our filler cord, we will create a line of diagonal double half hitch knots down and to the right. Another way to tie double half hitch knots is to tie your working cords along a filler cord that is not attached to your piece of work. A lot of macrame weavings use this technique. You can either leave the filler cord as is, or you can tuck each side into the back of your work. I will create one more row for you, showing you how to move up and down on your piece of work.
If you are interested in creating a macrame weaving, I would recommend tying your knots first and then weaving in the other fabric that you are using. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Chantel from Lots of Knots Canada. Find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Please subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I'll be posting a new macrame knot or knot pattern every day in February.